work to do. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Krista, if you're new here. I usually do lifestyle content, vlogs, and we have a lot of fun here. But today, we're gonna have some fun organizing my refrigerator. So let me give you a little before shot. First here, we definitely have some work to do. I have a small fridge. It needs a wipe down. It needs some decluttering, some reorganizing, but there are also some good systems in here. You may be asking, Krista, how can you be making a fridge organization hacks video when your fridge looks like that? I know, I know, I know it's quite a mess, but a lot of the systems that I have set up in there, the hacks that I'm gonna share with you today are the things that have helped me to go this long without having to clean it, and it's gonna make cleaning it that much easier and faster. So let's get into the video. Now, usually when I'm doing a deep clean of something, I would suggest that you take everything out of the space first. But my first tip for you is when you're doing your fridge, don't do that. <laughs> Especially when you have a small space like we do, taking everything out is only gonna create like a crazy mess. So what I suggest is going shelf by shelf or even bin by bin and clearing each shelf as opposed to clearing the whole fridge. Hack number two is to start off by cleaning out your fruit and vegetable bins. Mine always get super dirty with like tons of crumbs. I've seen people vacuum them, but I find the easiest thing is to just wash them out in your sink. And you wanna do it first because then they have time to dry while you're working on other parts of the fridge. Okay, so now that we have the fruit bins going, we are going to declutter. And I know that there's like random stuff hanging out in here, like this perfect bar that's super old. Luckily, my garbage can is right next to my fridge. These jerkies that aren't meat, it's time for these things to go. The next hack is dealing with specialty items such as maraschino cherries and like random sauces and stuff, you know? My tip for this is to have a place where you keep these things so that you don't forget about them and rebuy them. My place is just in the shelf right here. Easy peasy. It seems pretty obvious, but then I know exactly what I have. And my other place is this bin right here. Oh, sorry, this kimchi looks disgusting, but I made this eat me bin. So things that I specifically have bought that are special and I don't want them to go bad before we get to them, I put them in there so that we remember to eat them. Okay, this is one of my favorite tips and it's super budget friendly, which you know I love. Just like when you organize a closet or anything else in your house, it's good to use bins and the same goes for the fridge. So here are my favorite bins. These little plastic sliders, they are from the Daiso store and they are fantastic for organizing. There are a bunch of different styles, some that are flat, some that are shaped for cans, some that are taller, but they're all $1.50 at the Daiso store and they are fantastic for organizing your fridge. Now the next hack may be my very most favorite and it is pertaining to those drawers. When you're using those drawers and when you're buying them, you have to really think about what are the items that you buy all the time? What are the things that you are always eating? And then you need to think about personalizing your fridge to fit those needs. So for instance, for us, at one point I had bought a bunch of specialty cheeses. And so I was using this container to store them, but then during the pandemic, we bought a lot of eggs in bulk so that we wouldn't have to go out as often to get them. So this became the egg bin. Storing the eggs in an open bin really was a good way to personalize the organization of our fridge because as something that we use all the time, it gives us easy access to them. My next tip is label, label, label. If you organize your whole fridge with these bins and don't put any labels on them, you can't expect the other people in your house to know that you wanted these things put in specific places so it's good to put labels on things they still might not put them in the right place but you can at least try <laughs> and these are my favorite labels these are from the Dollar Tree they're from the brand Jot and it's an adhesive label holder so basically these are stickers with pockets in them and then there are labels to put through the clear pocket and you can just put them straight on your containers they're also good because you can switch out the label with a different piece of paper if you need to change things. And I think it's about time to turn this specialty cheese into an egg bin. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna give you some more hacks as we go, but I need to actually clean out this fridge. So let's time lapse and let's get this thing shining. All right, we are starting off by cleaning out the door of my fridge and this thing was in dire need of a wipe down. You can't really see, but there was so much crumbs and guck in there. So I'm just wiping that out and now I'm putting the condiments back in. The door is actually the best place for condiments because it's the warmest part of the fridge. So now I'm just grouping similar items together, salad dressings, Asian sauces, and Sunday toppings. I had to take a break because I have a little helper. <laughs> You gonna help me organize, buddy? Maybe he's gonna play. Good, good. Okay, so now we're moving on to the top of the fridge and I ended up taking everything off of this shelf only because it was a giant mess and there was just so much stuff that it had accumulated back there. That's my baking soda lady and I will tell you about her later. But now we are going to go ahead and organize all these things, taking everything out of these drawers and just giving them a good wipe. And then I'm also organizing the eat me bin. Oh no, moldy cream cheese back there. A fun fact, I actually put it back there because the back of the fridge is the coldest section. And now we're putting everything back in. Man, that yogurt drawer is just so awesome for easy access to snacks. Cord wanted to help me show this next hack. Right, buddy? This is our baking soda lady. If you have an idea for a name for her, we should really name her. Then let me know down in the comments. Now you can find baking soda containers to put in the fridge at the store, you know, just the box that has the rip off section. But what that's for is to deodorize your fridge and keep things smelling fresh. And that's what this lady is for too. Now she is especially cool because, <laughs> cool, get it? <laughs> so chilly because she has little markings up here so you can figure out what date you need to change your baking soda. And she just sits back here in the back of the fridge and keeps everything nice and fresh. Thanks, lady. Now it's time to tackle the bottom level of the fridge, and this is a perfect example of how not everything in a fridge needs a bin. Oh my goodness, yes, that was eggnog. I don't have bins on the bottom shelf because I have designated areas there for leftovers and beverages. You need a good amount of space for those things, so it ends up working out pretty well. I also took out the glass in the bottom of the fridge to wipe it off and clean out the crumbs, and boy, did that make a huge difference in how shiny my fridge looked. Last but not least, throwing in those crisper bins. One of my favorite ways that I have hacked my small fridge is by making cheese and meat drawers. You know, these little fridges don't have the luxury of having them built in. Using the bins is great because it helps to stop the cheese from falling through the slots in the shelves or getting lost and forgotten in the back. Things are looking really good in here, but if it's gonna look good on the inside, I say we make the outside look good too. And that leads me to my final hack for you, which is clean the outside of your fridge, but not just with anything because I know cleaning the top, why do the tops of fridges always get so greasy feeling? But you know what I discovered the other day? You guys, this stuff from the Dollar Tree, Ellie's totally awesome. Okay, I know, I know, we all know that this is really good stuff, but I discovered the other day, it takes off the grease on the top of the fridge like nobody's business. Like super easy, spray it on, wipe it off, it's gone. So if you hate cleaning the top of the fridge as much as I do, get yourself some of this and let's finish this job off. Alright my friends, let me give you a little fridge tour. It is quite the transformation. So starting up top, we have the Eat Me Bin. Sour cream always goes bad before we can get to it. We also have this yummy dip, perfectly fits in there, and some breast milk because we're always switching that out, so I just figured this is a good place for it, even though I will not be eating it. Then we have the pickled stuff. <laughs> Again, this is just a place where I personalized because I happen to have a lot of pickled stuff, so we didn't really need a bin for these, but it keeps them contained, which is nice. We also have yogurt over here. I love having this bin because it just keeps the, the yogurt all organized. 
And then in this small fridge, we didn't have a cheese or meat drawer. And so this is another way that I personalized. I made my own drawers. So here's the cheese, super easy to pull out. And I actually put specialty cheese now behind it, including that special Kraft Singles cheese. Our handy dandy eggs and the meat bin. And there's more meat behind it too. Then down here, it's actually looking pretty scant at the moment, which is good because now we have room for other stuff. So like I said before, over here, I keep beverages. I'd probably have some juice and, you know, coffee creamer. And then on this side, we have leftovers. Then we have the fruit and veggie drawers. Fruit is also looking scant. Whew. And finally, we have the door, which looks really nice. We have these two up here for easy grab access, buttering toast and pans and such, and then all the condiments. So that's it. It's a beautiful fridge. It's looking great and so much cleaner. Phew. This little bub is done cleaning. And so am I. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some good hacks for cleaning your fridge and for organizing your small fridge because I bet a lot of us have these little guys at home. Someday we're going to have a fridge with an ice maker and a water dispenser. That's in my dreams. All right, you guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video, if you learned something new or got inspired to clean your fridge, and subscribe if you would like to see more vlogs and more fun on my channel. I will see you next week in a brand new video. Bye!